Now we look at science. Now, this month's study is titled Photobiomodulation for Diabetes and Its Complications, a review of general presentation mechanisms and efficacy. So pretty much this study explains why red light therapy photobiomodulation is so beneficial for diabetes. It's quite an exciting study. So this review builds on research that we've talked about last year, whereby red light therapy applied after a meal directly lowers blood glucose levels. And this review highlights a lot of other mechanisms where red light therapy may be beneficial. So other mechanisms here are wound healing related to um, diabetes, periodontitis related to diabetes, which by the way, Bart has written a really good article on this topic, neuropathy and also eye health. And again, Bart's covered all of these topics over at Light Therapy Insight. And the review paper goes on to show other areas that it may be beneficial for, such as insulin secretion, overall organ health, and even things such as fixing diabetic foot ulcers. Diabetes is really something you, you want to avoid, but hey, if you do suffer from it, red light therapy looks to be able to, um, to help. And of course, another area that red light therapy can help is blood flow and circulation. So this is a big one for diabetic sufferers. So the only downside here is there is still limited research on this, especially on the lowering blood sugar levels. But overall though, it is promising stuff for diabetes.